Hello, welcome back to Physio Designer Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we are going to create a two-dimensional sheet model composed of excitable cells, and simulate reentrant excitation which is considered as one of cause of cardiac arrhythmias. Fitz Unigumo model is used to model the excitable cells in the model. Okay, let's begin with one of example simulation results. Excitatory stimulus is given at left lower corner. Excitation wave propagates toward upper right direction arcwise. In 40 seconds, inhibitory stimulus is given to a small circular area on the sheet, which is on the way of the arc wave propagation. After the inhibitory stimulus lasts for 30 seconds, it terminates. Then the disinhibition caused excitation of the circular area, that initiates another excitation propagation which can continue forever. Okay, let's begin to create a sheet model of excitable cells on Physio Designer. Starting point is the same with the previous tutorials showing excitation propagation on a ring. Here are a BVP module, a gap junction module, and external stimulus module. Besides them, here we have a module name board, defining a square shape to put BVP modules to create an excitable square sheet. Firstly, we define the square shape in this module. Right click on the module, and select Edit Morphology. In the dialog, select Cuboid of Primitive Shape. Set the dimension 100, 100, and 1. Then, click Add button, and Apply button. Select one of segments in the list, and click View button to check the shape. In the new window, the shape is displayed in three-dimensional space. Click Save Mesh button to save the mesh information, which is used to create voxel model of the shape. That's all for Morphology Editor. Next, we have to convey off the mesh model to voxel model. We can use Image Viewer. Right-click the module again, and select Show Image. Then the mesh model which we created right now is displayed in a window. Go to Menu Bar, and select Vol in the Export menu. Set File Name, and we have to set the division number for each axis. Here let's set 100 for X and Y axis, and 1 for Z axis. OK, then let's load a voxel file to check how it looks like. Once load a file, select raw voxel display at the menu bar to show the object in 3D panel. In the case that the division number along z-axis is 1, smooth rendering cannot be done properly using VTK library, because it cannot create surface. Hence Image Viewer equips the mode to display a volume object with showing individual voxels as they are. It is also convenient to select voxels to display voxel by voxel. Go to the Select Voxels and Edit at the menu bar. The selected voxels can be used to specify, for example, an area to give stimulus. Voxels at lower left corner to give an excitatory stimulus to initiate excitation wave propagation. Save the selection into a file. Then next, Select several voxels as like an isolated island to apply an inhibitory stimulus. Save them again into another file. We will use those files later. In this model, we will use two types of stimuli. One is excitatory stimulus given to a corner. The other is inhibitory stimulus given to an island-like circular area. For now we have only an excitatory stimulus, so duplicate the stimulus module to create the inhibitory stimulus. Once copy the module, change several parameters. The start time should be 30, instead of 10. And step, that is intensity of the stimulus, should be minus 2, instead of 2. OK, then using the square board shape information, let's create 10,000 instance modules of BVP template module. Select Create Modules from Volume Object in the menu. In the dialog, select the volume file of the board shape, and set BVP Template Module, and Gap Junction Template Module. Then, set Edge Configuration of Adjacent to Instance Modules. We will us 6 direction to link edges from one instance module. That means, we do not consider to link edges to modules in oblique directions. Click Create button. This process might take time. 
After instance modules are created, linkages from excitatory stimulus module to instance modules, drag a line from an output of a stimulus module to a group of instance modules, then a dialog opens, in which a file recording selected voxels that corner of the board shape created by image viewer is used to specify instance modules as targets of linking edges. The same process have to be done for the inhibitory stimulus module, in this case, a file of selected voxel of circular area is used. Finally, make sure that we will use parameter values A equals 1 and B equals 0.8. Save the model into a file, and let's simulate the model. The simulation takes quite a long time. Finishing the simulation, save the simulation result into a file with ISD format. Launch Physio Visualizer to visualize the simulation result. At first, add a data layer, and select the simulation result file. Value range is from minus 2 to 2, and size is 100 times 100 times 1, and set directory for storing VM files which is used to render every time frame. Select View Raw Voxel Mode to render the data at the menu bar, and set the camera angle to view XY plane. Now, let's see the result. Click play button to start animation. At time equals 10 millisecond, it starts to apply an excitatory stimulus at the left bottom corner, which lasts for 30 milliseconds. Then excitatory wave starts to propagate, then an inhibitory stimulus is also applied. Circular area is inhibited. Instead of autoplay, you can also move the time slider to observe the result. Module X in the BVP model has a parameter Z, which can control excitability of the BVP model. Depending on the value of Z, the dynamics changes qualitatively and quantitatively. These four panels show simulation results for values Z equals 0.2 to 0.5. All instance modules are initialized with random values. When Z is 0.2, waves disappeared soon. When it is 0.3, wave could propagate. At the inhibited area, waves were broken and separated. But for Z greater or equal 0.4, separated wave got connected after the inhibited area. And at 0.5, when the inhibition was eliminated, excitation wave occurred and started to propagate opposite direction making big rotation. When both ends of the wave collided, a new seed of excitation wave was created, and continued. As Z became larger, wave propagation velocity became faster, and the disinhibition excitation wave made smaller rotation. Besides that, wave width also got thicker. When Z equals 0.6, both ends of the rotating wave collided and disappeared. But for other Zs, recurrent rotating wave occurred. For Z equals 1.0, interestingly, the wave width of the first wave from the corner repeated to get thin and thick oscillatory. Two circular waves started after disinhibition, and stopped in this case. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching until the end, see you next time, goodbye.